Hey YouTube family, welcome back, welcome back. Today we are doing a giveaway of Tokyo treats, you guys. All the information will be in the description below. So make sure you guys go check that out after you guys finish watching this video. Today, we are going to try all the different snacks from Tokyo Treats, okay? So all of these snacks are all from Tokyo, Japan, and it is going to get mailed. It get mailed all the way here. So basically, um, every month you can pay up to like $35 to get cheaper if you do a, a, you know, a bundle deal. But every month, they send you different treats directly from Tokyo, Japan, and they mail it to your front door so you can try all of their great snacks. Today, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna try all the great Japanese snacks, all the Asian snacks that you can get into, get from your local grocery store or Asian store. It's all exclusive, but let's try it, okay? And don't forget to check the description once you're done so you can see how you can win your free Tokyo treat box. So. Let's open it up. Look like a big Popeye's chicken box. <laughs> Family chicken box. Oh, we don't know what to say. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> That's all I know in Japanese. Okay, happy. Okay, okay so here's a pamphlet has different people you guys can tag them when you get your box and to try it out all right oh so they do have a list of everything in here that we can check out so let's try it out all right the first one we gotta find a picture that matches okay this one right here is called Oh my ring, cheese flavor. This is one of the cheesy snacks lover. The crunchy and cheesy corn snacks with the maker of Yumba Bay is sure to cure these cheese cravings. So these are some cheese chips. Let's taste it. Okay, they're like cute little cheese puff onion rings. Mmm. It tastes like cheese puff. <laughs> It tastes like um, Cheetos to me. You guys want to try? Um, it's very soft, buttery, crispy. It's nice and fresh. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. It's so sweet. Yeah. It is sweet. It's so sweet. Okay. Next, we have this one with a little cow. Moo. This one is called Aha. Mm, ahi cheese more cheesy goodness for the birthday treat these crispy cheesy treats are perfect like savory snacks all right so let's try this out now every month is a different theme so every month when you do order if you do join you will get different snacks every single month with different themes this is the sample box that we get to try out for your first time so this one is called ahi cheese I think it might be a little bit crushed up, but. I wanna say they're a little bit stale. Maybe they were popped up more or something like that. But <laughs> um, these give me the Asian shrimp chip vibe. A very light, doesn't have a lot of flavor as, as much as the cheese rings. So I give these a five out of 10. It's not a sweet, it's not a salty, so that's more, it's a little bit more bland. Huh? Oh yeah, it was busted. Okay, next we have corn pottage. Po it like cottage. Corn, okay. Texas corn pottage snack. Creamy Japanese corn pottage is now here with a crunchy snack to warm up a chilly day. So, I think you eat this with some porridge, okay? Porridge. They say pottage. I didn't say porridge. I think they're forgetting an R. I'm pottage. not sure. <laughs> but I think you eat this with some rice porridge. You know we are always eating rice porridge in this house. Yeah. All right, let's try these. They're in like little, they look like corn poppers. All right. 
This tastes like corn. <laughs> Have you ever had a uh, sweet, creamy corn? This is like, it tastes like cream of corn. That's the yogurt would like this. So that's <laughs> corny. It tastes like cream of corn. Next we have this, it kind of busted, so it might be stale. Um, mm -hmm. This one is called Cabbage Taro. Yeah. The Tokyo tree team always fight over cabbage taro, light and crunchy with savory sauce. Taro. Okay, so these are a little bit bigger. They're like croutons. I like the flavor in this. It tastes like a savory meal. So this tastes more like food, like real food, you know? They're probably a little pale, so I'm not getting that crispy one. But the flavor, I do like this. And this is more of an adult treat. It's still because it popped up in the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Like, have one. <laughs> Avocado cream cheese. This sounds like you all the way, Jess. Mm. Avocado cream cheese for any avocado lover out there. Yeah. Frito-Lay avocado cream cheese. Okay, Frito-Lay. These are made by Frito-Lay. We like Frito-Lay. <laughs> Familiar brand. <laughs> all right. They are chips. Oh, these look like they're going to be good with an avocado. Um, guacamole. Mmm. Mm, give these a 9 out of 10. It would be bomb with some guac, with some guac you guys. Dip it in. Maybe some salsa. This is good. I like these. Like a, uh, like avocado. Yeah. Up next, we got all the way from Tokyo, Japan. We got some hotcakes. Maple serve hotcake. Bite side Japanese hotcakes is the way we want to start our birthday. Sandwich size fluffy hotcake. <laughs> These sound like they're going to be good in the microwave. Mm -hmm. These sound like they're going to be good in the microwave. Just a little bit of like a little five seconds. <gasps> oh, how cute! It's like a little sandwich. Look at that. Mm. It looks like a pancake. It's a cute little pancake with mm -hmm. some maple. Yeah. Javon would love these when he was a baby. Javon used to eat all pancakes. He used to smell like, he used to sweat syrup. He used to smell like syrup growing up. He knew the kid was bad, but he smelled like syrup. <laughs> Javon used to always smell like syrup. He would have loved these growing up. Hmm. Your little pancake? Mm -hmm. It's like a little pancake. Take it back for Alright. No. He grew out of that though. Oh, okay. She's like, huh? Alright. This look like it's a full moon pun. It's a crunchy cracker. Salty sweet soy sauce flavor. I love rice crackers. We have a bunch downstairs, so mm -hmm. let's try this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit drier, I think, because it's on the saltier side of a cracker than our sweet rice cracker. But it's good, nice and crisp. Okay, next we got. Next we got. Who are you, Black Bear? Where are you? Who are you? Who are you? Where are you, honey? You got it, right? Well, he's not on the list, but he looks like some type of nut. I'm gonna put spicy peanuts. Yeah. What? Is it another page? No. Mm -mm. All right. That sounds rough. <laughs> like little balls. Oh, oh, you, you, you. Yeah, yeah. Like a marble running away. <laughs> yeah. Who's slippery? He likes to roll. All right, let's try this. I wonder if it's other peanuts that, like, that we got. It's one of those peanut balls. Um, Is it? Mm-hmm. The peanut things you bought one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I 
Okay. All right. Next we got everything is in uh, Japanese, you guys. So there's really no English for us to read. This one is the King's Melon Pan. These mini melon bread shaped cookies. So there's bread shaped cookies. So translation, shortbread cookies. <laughs> Okay, so it looked like a little, little, little bread. That's why they call it bread, but sure. I think it looks like those mini cookies. Mmm. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it tastes like a melon with a, like a chocolate melon. Like the inside chocolate, it's like a chocolate melon flavored shortbread cookie. Interesting. Pretty good. <laughs> it takes you by surprise. It's like I was expecting a shortbread cookie. All that shit I was talking. So I was expecting it to be like a shortbread cookie. And then it surprised me with this like chocolate melon filling. Okay. Not bad. I like it. Mm, boom. And they got their all their fun cartoon characters. This one is called Yumabao Mentai Flavor. This super popular Malabao is a perfectly light yet junky snack that is perfect for curbing cravings. Okay, so it's supposed to be, it's Polak flavor. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> what does that look like? Like a cheese stick. It looks like a big cheese stick. It's like a big Cheeto, but I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's savory. It's not sweet. Oh. Got a little spice to it. We got some Jap Tokyo Pringles. I this is self-explanatory, self-passport flavors. Mm. I want to say they look like a piece of chicken <laughs> or a piece of shrimp or a fish stick. But then potato at the same time. It's a French fry, bruh. It's not on the list. It's not on the list. But don't that look? It is not there. Where? Oh, it is Pringle. Oh sh. Fish and chips. I I said it looked like a piece of shrimp and a piece of French fry. <laughs> Pringle fish and chips. Pringle Japan's exploring the world fish and chips flavor. Wow. The balance of a tart tartar sauce with their classy salty flavor. So we got some fish and chips, chips, mm -hmm. Pringle chips, fish and chips, Pringle chips. So let's try it. We know. Do you, do you remember how they said the money? Okay. So do you feel like the Monopoly guy and the Pringle guys are brothers? They have to be related. They came from the same era. All right. Fish and chips with tartar sauce. Here we go. If it's good, we can eat it with some fish and chips. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let it digest. Hold on, let me do some water. I gotta wash away all the other, I gotta wash away all the other taste so I can really focus on this taste. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. It's fish and chips. Think about fish. And chips. I'm still burning, you know. <laughs> That bite was a little bit, a little bit softer than the first bite. The first bite was a little bit fishy. This bite is more. Like, the more you chew it, the more you chew it, the more potato. Okay, the fish went away. So the first bite was like the fish. The second bite was like the tartar sauce. And now the third bite is like the french fries. It's, it's really weird when you, each layer of chip, you get a different different taste. Y'all let me know. Um, if you don't like fish, I don't recommend this shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a little bit different, but you know, uh, Japanese people love their sushi, they love their fish, so I'm pretty sure I can see a lot of people who love to eat raw fish and stuff like that can get down with this, but for me personally, that first bite kind of fucked me up. <laughs> I had to get to the second bite and the third bite, but this is the fish and chip Pringles. Here you go, y'all try that out. All right, this is on Kit Kat whole grain biscuit. Crunch into these sweet Kit Kats are the first in Japan. How do you feel about the fish and chips? Did it taste like fish when you first bit it? It has that fish taste I don't like. Was like, it? Like it tastes, it tastes like a chip dipped in fish grease. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I it's light though. It's, it's light. light. Once you once I drunk the water, like I like mm -hmm. kind of ate it down a little different note. Okay. Kit Kat multi grain. Spidey. So is it Kit Kat or? Okay. Yeah, they're Kit Kat. The weight is multi grain. Okay, so they're individually packaged inside of here. This sounds like some healthy stuff. We're gonna check it out. How can a Kit Kat be multi grain? Hmm. Oh, okay. It is a Kit Kat. Oh, so there's the a little wafer. cracker normally inside of the Kit Kat. So that cracker the part, the wafer part, is probably multi grain. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Good. Mm. It still got that sweet, but not too sweet, creamy. Mm -hmm. The multi-grain doesn't really play any effect in it. Um, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, up next we got this fish. Now, we have tried the ice cream version of this, the boba and the strawberry. Um, this one right here is a Frito-Lay avocado cream cheese tortilla chips. This is up your alley again with the avocado and the cream cheese. Now, the avocado cream cheese chip like from that. earlier was delicious, so I'm hoping the same for this. It looks like the, um, the ice cream. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it smells amazing. Wow, it smells really good. And it's a fish in here. This is supposed to be avocado? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I read the wrong... My bad, it was green, the other thing was green. I read the wrong description. So sorry, this fish is not avocado or cream cheese. I smelled that, I was like, wait, this ain't cream cheese. This is a bubbly teriyaki melon soda flavor. Mm, so it's teriyaki time. Inside the two green fish shaped Monaco wafers, you'll find an airy chocolate with a sweet melon flavor. So this is a melon flavor fish. It smells really good. We're gonna, should we bite the tail or the head? Give me a kiss. We're gonna bite your head. Mmm, wow. It's a wafer. Have y'all ever had wafer sticks? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a melon wafer. It smells really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it tastes like how it smells. So it smells like a honeydew melon. And it tastes good. Here you go. I like this. It good. Very light. Smells really good. Completely different. That's a lot of time than this <laughs> the way that fish is shaped it needs to taste like this but that fish tastes like a melon mm -hmm. and this tastes like a fish yeah, all right now we have yeah. these look like candy you know, stop. this one is called a trio coco soruka mochi okay it is red bean flavored chocolate mochi mochi is you know, like a little bit chewy. <laughs> My bad, y'all. <yo. laughs> I'm an earthquake over here. All right. So this is chocolate. Um. Yep, and red bean. Chocolate and red bean. Taste this. Mmm. Mostly it's on the inside. It 
tastes like a green tea flower. It tastes like one of those herbal tea that has hibiscus flower and shit like that. Like, taste this. I don't like it. You want to try mommy? Here. It tastes like a flower. It tastes like this backdrop. <laughs> Mixed with some tea, herbal tea. And it's a little bit chewy in the middle. The mochi is not until the middle. It is chewy. And it has a tingling mint at the end. This is a very... Mm. Mm -mm. It's minty at the end. The aftertaste is minty. It's lotion. Like lotion, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, and it lingers aftertaste. That ain't no good. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. All right. This is the last snack. Oh, no. Two more. This one is called mini strawberry milk cocoa bars. Like so it looks like medicine tablets. Okay. It's in, it's in a medicine, medicine tablet. So we're going to pop one of these. Um, They're different pink and red, but they might be the same flavor. All right. Let's try strawberry milk chocolate. It's like... It feels like a little jaw, jaw, jaw breaking. It's hard. Um, it's good. I'm not mad at this. It's like a creamy strawberry. It tastes like a strawberry milkshake. I like this. The packaging is fun. It's like taking medicine. Take my crazy pills. Okay, here's this. All right. Next, we have, this is our final snack before the drink snack. This is a grape soda gummy. We need a fizzy pop at our party, and this is exactly what the gummy is giving us. It's a soda bottle gummy. And it's grape flavor, so. I think once upon a time it was. I don't know. It was like a fat bottle now. It looked like a cupcake. All right, let's taste this. Mm -hmm. If you like gummy worms, gummy bear, I think you would like this. It has a sugar coating. And the flavor is not sizzling, bubbly, like they're saying. It's very fruity. It smells good, tastes good. This is yummy. It's like I'll be the judge of that. You can't eat a secret. All right. Finally, we got a Cheerio Kiss Cocoa Mint Soda. That does not sound good, but we're going to try it. <laughs> That's right, we're bringing you a Japan's first ever chocolate mint soda with sweet and refreshing flavor. This sounds like chocolate mint ice cream if you eat toothpaste you will like this <laughs> but we're gonna try this out okay for all my toothpaste lovers out there toothpaste with chocolate let's give this a try all right it's really cute i love the um the bottle it has a lip with a straw and it says kiss cocoa I just drank Listerine. Like I had chocolate in my mouth and I drank some Listerine. <laughs> Yo, but you can't knock it until you try it because there's people out there, you guys that like mint chocolate chip. If you like mint chocolate chip ice cream, this is for you. This one tastes like Listerine with chocolate. I kid you not because Listerine kind of have that burning feeling and because it's a soda, it has that bubbly burning feeling. and. This tastes like a mint chocolate chip soda. It's it's exactly what it described. I don't expect nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> you try it. Try it. You got to try it. So out of everything, I want to say... It looks like a looks like a story. It's the same color and everything. No, no. You drink soda, so what do you think? 
I mean, it doesn't taste like Listerine. It's not that strong. Uh, sure. It Thank is, you. like she said, it is very minty, but it's got that soda flavor, uh, and it's like a soda f flavored soda. It's not cold. Yeah. Mm hmm. Not well, cold, don't knock like it. it until you try yeah. it. Out of everything I want to say, my favorite, I am going to go with this wafer. This wafer was, I really love the scent and the smell of this wafer. Um, the cheese were, the cheese snacks were very simple and close to American snacks that we have over here. But the Kit Kat was really good too. Um, the two things I did not like was this mochi thing. And this fish and chips that that's a little bit it's a little bit interesting. Um, maybe we eat it with a piece of fish, like a piece of fried fish. That'd be good. Dipping in tartar sauce. Uh, dipping in tartar sauce, something like that. Um, but this 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 one is weird. But this fish one, a uh, freaking amazing. The smell was amazing. The aroma was amazing. These avocado cream cheese chips was amazing. We dip in some guacamole. Um, so. This was a very fun experience for those of you who love snacks and is very open to trying different snacks, especially some snacks are delivered straight from Tokyo, Japan. This is going to be really exciting for you to try. So make sure you check out the description below and enter the giveaway so you can get your box of snacks. And if you don't feel like entering and you just want to purchase it and try it yourself, Plus, so check out the link below and go order you some. For $35 a month, each month, you can get a bunch of different snacks delivered all the way from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Kids YouTube channel because Juice will also be doing a giveaway and review on her channel. Uh, well, NJ at Juice Space, J-A-Y-Y. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and trying all the different snacks. Mm -hmm. I hope you try it for yourself mm -hmm. and see how you like it and you can give your own review. All right, you guys. I love you. Bye-bye. Give me kisses. Bye. They're my favorite one, too. They're trying to